Like being with fuck your rules, nigga, this pop rules. Slide through with the Erica Badu, West I Compton, nigga, don't mind if I do. From Pabu Street to Mao Street, nigga. This I'm getting back in the studio with Dr. Dre after 10 years, man. Um, uh, you know, like really extensively back in the studio to where we were in there working every day and he was, you know, working on his project um, and doing the Compton album and me helping with the Compton album, him helping with the documentary. Still holding it down, aftermath, do the math, nigga, you know the sound. Thought you knew, still holding the crown. Yo, what it do, blood? The craziest part about this shit is like, I'm proud of it, you know what I'm saying? This shit is crazy. Man, I fucks with it. Shit hard as fuck. Shit hard as fuck. This is why I do this thing because of that shit right here. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke enough to get You get somebody like Dr. Dre who listens to something called the documentary too, you, you kind of feel like he might take it personal. But when we went and pressed play for Dre, he stood up and looked at us and said, yo man, listen man, you outdid yourself. You know what I mean? Dre himself said, man, I'm calling this better than the documentary one. <laughs> Back when Dot was hanging out at Tops in the Benzo, freestyling to the chronic instrumentals. And me and Dre, I've always had the Dr. Dre um, that I had when I was a kid growing up, listening to N.W.A. And uh, I think he, you know, he always had the same love for me um, from the time that, you know, we met. And I signed Aftermath. Dre always told me, um, Game and Dre are always going to be that they left off the last time they seen each other and I never forgot that he told me that and I wouldn't be where I am today without Dr. Dre that's my big homie and I love him to death it's aftermath ain't nothing after that